Hello, I'm Kevin Goodison, and I will be taking you through today's webinar on the residential circulator range from Armstrong Fluid Technology. My role within the company is National WPD Sales Manager. WPD stands for Wholesale Parts Distribution, so effectively I look after the distribution side of Armstrong's business. Today's webinar will be in two parts. Although Armstrong have been in the HVAC market for quite a while, the name, brand and products may be unfamiliar to many of you as we have been operating mainly in the commercial market, not just in the UK, but throughout the world. So I'll start by giving a history of Armstrong. As you will see from today's webinar, we now have products suitable for the residential and light commercial markets of which the circulators form the largest part of those products. So let's move on to the presentation. <clears throat> As I said initially, we'll look at the origins of Armstrong. And we do have a global presence. Even though our head, our head office is based in Toronto in Canada, we have manufacturing plants and sales offices throughout the whole world, namely in Buffalo, USA, Sao Paulo, Brazil, here in the UK, Birmingham and Manchester, with Manchester being our UK head office, Bangalore in India, and Shanghai in the People's Republic of China. We also have three sales offices, Lyon in France, Mannheim in Germany, and Dubai in uh, UAE. <clears throat> We've built our business based around core values. <clears throat> we have three values. To foster lasting growth, Armstrong will build from those three values. They are service, community, and learning and innovation. With regards to service, that's service to the world who by reason of such service will become our customer. Community, by building trust to collaborate with one another will enable us to build relationships with customers, suppliers, and our broader technical and social community. And lastly, but not least, learning and innovation, building organizational capability through listening and learning from our customers will evolve even more innovative solutions to meet their challenging needs. So if we put all those three values together, we create a customer value. Our core competencies relate to mechanical and electronical. So our mechanical competencies are heat transfer with our integrated packages, and we'll talk a little bit more about those later on, and fluid throw, fluid flow through our design envelope pumping. On the electronic side, our demand-based controls through system optimization and digitalization through effective and active performance management. So bringing the mechanical and the electronic competencies together, we have optimum lifetime building performance. <clears throat> As a bit of a time frame through um, the origins of Armstrong back in 1934, the next three slides show a timeline. I won't go through each individual item, but I'll just pack out one or two that we deem to be important. So Armstrong's began in Toronto in 1938, and by 19, sorry, 1934, and by 1958, they'd become the largest manufacturer of centrifugal pumps in Canada. In 1965, operations began in the UK, and the following year, 1966, in the US. By 1971, Armstrong had developed the world's, the world's first vertical inline centrifugal pump for HVAC markets. A year later, there was the introduction of suction guides and Flotrex valves, which are very important to our pumps still today. In 1988, Armstrong delivered the first plate and frame heat exchangers. Early 90s, introduction of the dual arm pumps, the very first truly integrated parallel multi-head pump. And in the early 2000s, 2003, the launch of the highly efficient E-Series circulator. In 2005, Armstrong's introduced the intelligent variable speed pumps. And in 2006, the introduction of a chilled water line as an integrated plant package with energy savings of up to 60%. We'll talk more about plant packages later on. And in 2007, the introduction of a second generation IVS sensorless pump with energy savings of up to 65%. <clears throat> Relating more to the UK, in 2011, there was the merger of Armstrong Holden Brook 
Pullen UK and Armstrong Integrated Systems to provide one business, namely Armstrong Integrated Limited. By 2017, we launched the Generation 5 pumps in conjunction with IBM Watson for data collection and monitoring. In 2018, and with reference and relevance to the circulators, Armstrong acquired Halm Motors in Germany, which gave us our circulator range as we stand at this moment in time. And then last year, we launched Active Performance Management. So from a solutions overview, as you can see, there are many assets to the Armstrong portfolio. Circulators, which we should be talking about later, design envelope pumps, which are intelligent variable speed pumps available in split coupling design for EDC removal of both the pump or the motor. Design envelope controls, which are modulated controls, a demand-based demand control to give the best in energy savings, sensorless controls and parallel pumping. Design envelope booster sets, which are integrated intelligent controls to eliminate procurement and installation costs and provided superior performance and energy efficiency. Split case fire pumps, integrated fluid management systems, which offer the lowest install cost, lowest operating and environmental cost, lowest project and operating risk, and packaged plant rooms. Packaged plant rooms or plant room systems provide up to 50% energy savings over conventional chilled water plant applications, and off-site packaged plant rooms have been delivered by Armstrong to the world's largest companies. So moving on to the circulator range, um, three models of which you can see in front of you. An overview of the range, the circulators are suitable for heating applications, potable water applications and solar applications. An overview of the pump range, the products, Optimo and Optimo N, and we'll go into more detail on each of these later on in the presentation. Optimo Basic and Optimo Basic N, Optimo L and Optimo L Solar, and the BUPA N and the BGPA N. So if we look at heating applications first, three products in the range are the Optimo, the Optimo Basic, and the Optimo L. So if we start with the Optimo and the Optimo Basic, as you can see from the images on the right, both models are virtually identical, just with a couple of differences. The Optimo and the Optimo Basic can be used for heating, air conditioning, and other systems. So they can be used in twin pipe systems. They can be used as a secondary pump for underfloor heating, a boiler or primary circuit circulator, storage charging circuits, and also solar and heating systems. From a technical point of view, they can um, be used where the rate of flow is up to 4.4 cubic meters an hour. Depending on the range, the pressure head ranges from, sorry, depending on the model, the pressure head ranges from four meters all the way up to eight meters. The media temperature within the circulator can be from plus two degrees to 110 degrees centigrade. And the installation length, depending on the model, can either be 130 millimetres or 180 millimetres, both of which will be very compatible with uh, refurbishment applications where you're replacing an existing circulator. The threaded connection is either an inch, inch and a half or two inches. And again, this depends on the actual model. <clears throat> so looking at the features for both the Optimo and the Optimo Basic, and one thing I haven't mentioned, I apologise, is that the Optimo is the first picture, the upper picture, and the lower image is the Optimo Basic. So both have exactly the same features, um, apart from two slight differences. So both of the models will have a manual startup feature. They both have smooth running and very low energy cons consumption, as they both have uh, A-rated pumps. An integrated night feature, which reduces the energy. And one thing that installers seem to like is the air vent screw right in the middle of the face of the dial. Uh, we'll just go into that a little bit later on. The Optimo, but not the Optimo Basic, has an LED display. 
its convenient operation and it had three modes of operation. There's a potentiometer on the front face, just slightly above the air vent screw, where once you've turned the potentiometer, you can select either proportional pressure, fixed speed, or constant pressure. The display to the um, left of the um, air vent screw indicates the power consumption in watts whilst the unit is running. <clears throat> to set up the um, circulator, when the potentiometer is turned initially, the display first indicates the, the mode of operation, then the value of set head in meters. After a while, it then reverts back to the power consumption and the symbol of the control mode permanently. And these products can be used both in the new build and the refurbishment market. It's been designed with space saving axial, actually integrated terminal blocks, automatic adjustment to pressure condition, conditions, to um, ease corrosiveness, the um, pump is coated, is, is categorically coated, um, or the housing is. Pre mounted screwable angle entry plug for the electrical connection. And as we said, a couple of slight variations. So, with the basic, um, it actually comes pre wired with a meter long cable. And as you can see from the images, uh, quite a compact design. As I say, one of the features that installers throughout the UK um, said to us, uh, said to Armstrong's uh, that they liked on circulators was the um, ability to bleed from the air vent screw in the centre of the dial. As you can see from the bottom left of this um, slide, air bleeding is done in three steps. Uh, the pump needs to be um, isolated with the uh, isolation valve to the top of the pump. Then a screwdriver placed within the uh, screw head turned um, for around about 20 seconds, and that should uh, alleviate most of the air, if not all of it, within the system. Screw, um, or turn the screw back into the closed position and then reopen the isolation valve. A similar procedure is, um, is required if the pump needs deblocking. So isolate the pump from the power supply. You think it'd be fairly obvious, but we need to uh, reiterate that. Remove the air vent screw completely, then place the screwdriver in the shaft, turning it clockwise. Put the screw back in the screw vent and switch the pump back on, and that should de-block um, both of those um, circulators if required. <clears throat> Moving on to the, from the Optimo and from the Optimo Basic and the Optimo to the basic, to the Optimo L. The application for this, very, very similar, heating, air conditioning, and other systems. Twin pipe system, a single pipe system, again, secondary pump for underfloor heating system, solar systems, boiler or primary circuit, and circulation for storage charging circuits. As you can see, the format of the face is slightly different, um, but the, the, the case and the body, rather, of the pump is, is exactly the same. So here, the rate of flow from a technical perspective is up to 10 cubic meters an hour. The pressure head is slightly um, larger than um, the, the, opti the Optimo and the Optimo Basic, with the L going up from eight meters to 10 meters. Media temperature, two degrees centigrade to 95 degrees centigrade. And here the installation um, length or the face-to-face the -face of the body is either 180 millimeters threaded connection or 220 millimeters flange connection. The circulator, connect, the circulator pipe connections are an inch and a half or two inches. But as you can see um, from the, the center of the, uh, the, the front face of the control, it still does have the uh, air vent screw. <clears throat> so the features of the L, an LCD display, manual startup feature, smooth running, the A-rated motor gives you very low energy consumption. As I've said, the air vent screw, collective fault signal, convenient operation, actually integrated terminal block, automatic adjustment to pressure conditions within the system, and a cataphoretic coated pump housing. Again, even though the format of the display is slightly different, air bleeding is exactly the same as previously described with the Optimo and the Optimo Basic. So it's the screw in the middle 
um, isolating the uh, the pump uh, with the upper isolation valve, um, unscrewing the screw slightly for up to about 20 seconds, and then um, uh, opening up the isolation valve that you've uh, you've closed off before the operation. Again, deblocking exactly the same. As before, isolate the pump from the power supply, remove the screw vent, turn the shaft clockwise using the screwdriver, screw in the uh, vent screw and switch the pump back on. As we say, when we did um, surveys uh, with regards to features and benefits of circulator pumps in the UK, it was felt that by the majority of installers that we spoke to that the more simplistic um, the features and benefits, the, uh, the better which is what we've tried to incorporate um, onto um, our system. <clears throat> so moving on from heating over to uh, possible water applications, and um, the Optimo uh, name comes up again, uh, but this time with an N um, as part of the actual product reference. So Optimo N and Optimo Basic N, followed by the BUPA N or BUPA N, and finally the BGPA N. The main difference, as you can see from all of the four um, uh, pictures in front of you, is that the body is no longer cast iron. It's now stainless steel, um, specifically for the potable water application. So going into, um, going into the details, the Optimo N and the Optimo Basic N, um, in essence, other than the uh, stainless steel, but the body now being stainless steel rather than cast iron, the performance is exactly the same. So rate of flow up to 4.4 cubic meters an hour, pressure head either 4, 6 or 8 meters depending on the specific model, media temperature 2 to 110 degrees centigrade and the installation length of either 130 millimeters or 180 millimeters. As we said before this is quite critical for um, particularly refurbishment projects where um, the existing pump may well be um, obsolete um, but the face-to-face, the, -face, the actual installation length, um, is exactly the same as, as the majority of pumps in the market um, in the UK at this moment in time. So threaded connection, depending on the size of the uh, circulator, would be an inch, inch and a half and two inches. So features for the Optimo N and the Optimo Basic N for possible hot water. Um, exactly the same as the heating, so manual startup feature, smooth running, A-rated pump, um, oh, sorry, A-rated motors to um, provide low energy consumption, integrated night economy feature uh, to reduce the usage when the uh, pump isn't uh, constantly on, air vent screw uh, in the center of the face, LED display, but this again is only on the Optimo N and not the Optimo Basic. Convenient operation, the three mode operation again, so turning the potentiometer will take you from proportional pressure to either fixed speed or constant pressure. Um, space saving axially integrated terminal block, automatic adjustment to pressure conditions, and with it being for possible water, water as we said before, stainless steel pump housing, pre-mounted screwable angle entry plug for the electrical connection, and in the Optimo N Basic, this again is pre-wired with a one meter long cable. Compact design, optical fault indicator and uh, an optical display control model. Air bleeding is exactly the same, um, uh, so I won't go into that. And also de-blocking um, is, is in exactly the same manner as the um, Optimo range from the heating side. <clears throat> So moving on to the next product, which is the BUPA or BUPA N. Um, here, the application is purely just domestic hot water systems. Rate of flow um, up to four cubic meters an hour. Pressure head up to six meters. Media temperature two degrees centigrade up to 110 degrees centigrade. And installation lengths 130 millimeter, 150 millimeter, and 180 millimeter. So that's the face-to-face -face dimension of the body. And again, it being for um, um, hot water, it's a stainless steel um, body that we're using here rather than cast iron. BGPA N, um, again, the application is domestic hot water systems, but here um, a bit of a higher capacity. So the rate of flow increases to 12 cubic meters an hour, 
the pressure head is up to 12 meters, media temperature exactly the same, two to 110 degrees centigrade. Um, and the installation length is, is purely in this model, just 180 millimeters um, face to face. Threaded connections can either be an inch and a quarter or an inch and a half. Um, and the IP rating is IP44. So features and benefits for both the Bupa N and the BGPAN. Um, manual startup feature, space saving axially integrated terminal block, so it's a very compact unit, um, and a stainless steel pump housing. Uh, air bleeding in three stages as previously from the screw in the center, and deep blocking is in exactly the same manner as um, the um, Optimo uh, ranges, um, both in the possible water and also in the heating applications. So moving on to products for solar application, it's the Optimo L Solar um, that you can see the image of there. And now we're reverting back to a cast iron body. Um, application is purely for solar systems, uh, rate of flow up to 10 cubic meters an hour, pressure head eight to 10 meters or eight or 10 meters um, in, in head, media temperature two to 95 degrees centigrade. Um, and again, as the Optimo L in the heating range, the installation length is either 180 millimeters threaded or 220 millimeters flanged. Circulator connection, the, the threaded pipe, one and a half inch or two inches threaded with DN32 and 40, DN40 flanged. Um, and as you can see, the um, application here is obviously for a solar system. And you can see the solar pump virtually slap bang um, in the center of that particular um, schematic um, in between the hot water storage and the buffer storage and connecting to pipe works to the solar panel. Features of the Optimo L Solar, um, again the LCD display, manual startup feature, smooth running, A-rated motors for the, uh, for the pump giving low energy consumption, the installer feature of air vent screw for uh, easily for um, uh, air bleeding and also deep blocking collective fault signal convenient operation actually mounted terminal box which is integrated automatic adjustment to pressure controls and a cataphoretic coated pump housing so why armstrong circulators over and above anybody else in the marketplace well, I think as you've seen, the, 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 the circulators have a simple and robust design, very easy to maintain, and quite a comprehensive range of circulators, which are suitable for both domestic, but also for like commercial applications. The technology is from a global brand that you can see has its heritage in the commercial market for more than uh, 75 years. And it's a very trusted and well-respected um, brand. Reliable and flexible solutions through proactively managing system performance. And we have very high energy efficiency credentials. And Armstrong Fluid Technology is a brand trusted for large scale complex installations, which now offers an extended range of circulators for both the domestic heating and hot water applications. So, Getting close to the end, um, the range feature comparison chart. So along the top, we have the uh, ranges of circulators that we've spoken about, the uh, Optimo, Optimo Basic, the Optimo L, Optimo N, and Optimo Basic N for uh, possible hot water, possible water, sorry, Booper N and BGPA N. And then on the left hand side, you can see a list of features. Um, so you can see that the uh, Optimo Basic doesn't have the LED display, but it does have a pre mounted one meter cable. The Optimo um, for hot water does have the LED display, um, but in this case, the, um, uh, the cable isn't pre mounted. So for ease of selection, um, this chart can be very useful. So we've demonstrated that Armstrong Fluid Technology have an installer friendly range of circulators that are suitable for heating, potable water and solar applications. The features of the products have been based around listening to our customers and making the range simple to both install and operate. The circulators have a place in both new build and refurbishment projects 
and are suitable for heating, potable water and solar applications. So when you next require a circulator, ask your merchant for an Armstrong circulator. I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking you for attending today and for more information on the Armstrong circulators and any other products within the Armstrong Fluid Technology range, please visit our website at www.armstrongfluidtechnology.com.